Among the treasures saved was the cathedral's most sacred relic, the crown of thorns many believe Jesus wore at his crucifixion. Gone forever is the forest of ancient oak used to frame up the roof, now in ashes. Roxana Saberi has more on what was damaged or spared. The flames swept through Notre Dame Cathedral so intensely, it's a miracle anything inside survived. Like these paintings, candle holders and chairs taken to Paris City Hall. Is this possible to put a price on it? No, please. We don't talk money. We talk about spirit. The artifacts, along with this 13th century tunic, are being transferred to the Louvre, where they will be protected and restored. And what was lost? That we will see in the coming days. So far, we know what's saved. And, and the majority of uh, Notre Dame is because uh, Notre Dame is standing. Also still standing, it's two medieval bell towers, immortalized in Victor Hugo's novel, The Hunchback of Notre Dame, and later in movies. Notre Dame's iconic stained glass rose windows also appear mostly unscathed. But officials say the cathedral's high altar was damaged by falling debris, while the descent from the cross sculpture above it escaped largely unharmed. And one of the cathedral's most sacred relics, the crown of thorns believed to have been worn by Jesus Christ, was saved by Paris Fire Brigade chaplain Jean-Marc Fournier. But the cathedral itself still faces an uncertain future, says architectural historian Tricia Meehan. The biggest risk right now is everything that's on top of the vaults. As long as the vaults hold, the structure should be okay. But you have all the water and you have all the wood debris that's fallen on top, and they weren't made to carry that weight. Although President Macron has vowed to rebuild Notre Dame in five years, some experts here say depending on the damage, rebuilding could take decades. One challenge, according to one cultural heritage expert, is that France no longer has trees that are big enough to replace the cathedral's beams that were destroyed by the fire. Jeff? Interesting. Roxana, thank you very much.